So once in a while, you can actually treat yourself with one of those. Hmm. Wait a second. Um, I will show you what kind of thing I'll get rid of. It's this one. Mm-hmm. And let me shine this a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the Microsoft 2010 competition held in mainland China. In China, it's called a Bean English speaking mouth model. Maybe it sounds a little bit weird, but what is mouth model? It's that they use the AI technology. Well, think about that. About 12 or 13 years ago, they were using the AI technology to capture your face and you're, you're speaking the internet, um, you know, you're trying to speak English as a Chinese. Maybe you, you've really mastered English and you show other Chinese, you show them how you actually use your tongue, use your lips or something like that. Um, uh, get a long story short, I finally didn't win, really win number one place and they want to pick up a girl, you know, so finally a girl named Sissy and she won the first place. Um, well, this time I can show you some pictures here, right? Um, you know, the whole record of everything as I'm speaking. So later I will edit in some of the pictures of me winning, you know, and we went to Beijing in 2011 spring to get this one. And it, it had a base, it had a base before. And then the base was gone because the glue wasn't really for the high quality. I don't know whether Microsoft had really spent a lot of money on this one. I guess not, because uh, it's a poor construction quality. However, this thing really is really important, um, you know, part of my life, you know, because it's transformed my life a little bit. And after this, more people recognize me and become more famous and become, uh, you know, gradually, you know, gravitate towards a step of becoming a famous English teacher here in China. Not the most famous one, because I said, I don't always uh, suck boots. I don't always lick boots, you know. But you can definitely lick my sexy feet. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm talking about you guys about my foot fetish, right? So my foot fetish is that, you know, I admire my own feet first, because if you are lacking for certain aesthetic standards or aesthetic, you know, beauty something in you and you just admire girls' feet, that's fine, right? But for me, I'm, I'm going to appreciate my own feet first, you know, and then I love a beautiful girl's beautiful feet. Of course, what about, what about ugly feet? Well, I, I respect everybody's feet, right? Because feet comes in different shapes. Not everybody's a feet fan. I'm a real feet fan, you know? So I'm, I was trying to promote the feet culture as well as the rap culture and English teaching culture and bodybuilding culture, longevity culture, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm so real, you know? I never hide anything. I'm raw, uncut, unedited stuff, okay? Now you'll see this one. It's really hard to get rid of the sentimental items like this because it is a very important, very important um, achievement in your life. It says, Ren qi. Let me show you. Ren qi zui gao kou mo jia. It means the uh, moth model who had received the highest voting rate, who is most popular. I get this one. So this prize could be recognized as second uh, prize, you know, the, the second place. And the final winner, Sisi, you know, the girl who won this the final competition, and she could be recognized as the first one. I was working as a second one. So it's a very heavy, it's a very heavy stuff. It's a very um, good recognition of a certain stage of my life, but I have to move on. So for many people, it's really hard for you to throw away this uh, sentimental stuff, but I'm okay with this, you know? Good, you know, get out, get out of my house, get out of my room, right? Because I believe in my life, in the future, I have much more important achievement than this. It doesn't mean it's crap, but it's just part part of my past. It's nothing special. Okay. So, I will use my sexy, beautiful feet to say goodbye to this uh, old trophy of mine and move on, move on with my life, my new life in Japan. Yes, and I will use this sexy feet and sexy muscle to say goodbye. Yeah, I just want to share with you, you know, 
my audience, my fans, it's like, you know, a lot of times it's really hard for you to say goodbye to your past. Let me adjust this a little bit. It's very hard for you to say goodbye to your past because you always linger on, you always cling to your past. But sometimes you gotta be brave because life goes on, you know? You, if you, you know, you will always bring a lot of sentimental stuff with you. If you dare not to change yourself, if you dare not to really move on with your life, you know, and you will, you will have lots of mental burden, you know, lingering on past success and past experience and past failures. Forget about everything. Learn the lesson and move on. Love your life. Love your current life now. You know, just be real. Be yourself. Just like me, you know, uncut it, unedited footage. It's so real, you know. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm not trying to say I hope you guys like it, you know, because I'm just real, you know, like me or hate me, whatever, you know, just keep watching my video, whatever, or you think it's boring, you know, you keep, you're going away, that's fine, you know, and for the people who really love my content, um, I, I'm glad to share my work with you, because it's so real. I'll see you guys next time, ciao.